Hello everyone, welcome to Lido homework session. Today we are going to solve a problem from the chapter integers. Today's question is write down a pair of integers whose a sum is minus 7, b difference is minus 10 and c sum is 0. So let's start with the first one. So here I am simply going to write minus 7 is equal to minus 7. Now I am going to take any of my favorite integer and add it on both sides. So now I am going to write minus 7 plus plus 1 is equal to minus 7 plus plus 1. Okay. Now I am going to retain the LHS as it is. I am not going to make any change to this but I am going to solve the RHS. So this will give me minus 6. Now because I want the answer to be minus 7, I am going to retain minus 7 on the LHS and I am going to send the other term to the other side. So this will give me minus 7 is equal to minus 6 minus 1. So this can be also written as minus 7 is equal to minus 6 plus minus 1. So this is my final answer. So a sum of minus 6 and minus 1 gives me minus 7. Now that you have learned the technique to solve this kind of problem, I encourage you to pause the video at this stage, solve subsection B and C and come back and replay the video once you are ready. Alright, I hope you tried solving it on your own. Now it's my turn to explain. Let me begin with minus 10 is equal to minus 10. This time there's a difference. So I'm going to write this as minus 10 minus 2 and minus 10 minus 2 on both sides. Now because I want the answer to be minus 10, I'm, uh, oh sorry, I forgot a step. So I'm going to keep the LHS as it is and I'm going to simplify the RHS which will give me minus 12. Now because I want the LHS to be minus 10 I'm going to retain minus 10 on the LHS and I'm going to send the other term minus 2 onto the RHS. So this will give me minus 10 is equal to minus 12 plus 2. Now I can also write this as minus 10 is equal to minus 2 minus of uh, sorry minus 12 minus minus of minus 2. Okay. So that is my final answer. So I can write minus 10 as the difference between two integers minus 12 and minus 2. All right. Let's try solving the last subsection of this question which is the sum of two integers should be 0. So let's start with 0 is equal to 0 and I'm going to add a random integer on both sides. That is the first step. In the second step I'm going to retain the LHS as it is and I'm going to simplify the RHS. Now because I want the answer to be 0, I'm going to keep the term 0 on the LHS and send the rest of the terms to RHS, which will make it 3 minus 3. I can also write this as 0 is equal to 3 plus minus 3. So that's my final answer. I can write 0 as the sum of two integers plus 3 and minus 3. So I hope you found this video helpful and fun. If you have any other questions or you know a different method of solving this question, drop it down in the comment section. Hit subscribe to get regular updates about this channel and I will see you in the next session. Until then, stay safe. Goodbye.